Greetings everybody, I am the Soviet Warlord and today I'm just bringing you a very quick update. Only going to be about five minutes. Hopefully I won't go over the time because I'm going to time it according to my survival game. So, um, after listening to your comments on um, listening to your comments on the comeback video, I have elected to uh, restart Stakhanov's build. Now um, I have somebody working on the blueprint for the thumbnails uh, layout for me. Uh, she's a lovely person. I actually met her while I was doing some freelance work. So uh, it turns out she happens to be a very good graphic designer. So she's doing that for me at the moment. The first weapon that you will see reviewed, hopefully I'll be able to do it today, minus the thumbnail, is the weapon that you're seeing now, the height. Uh, and as you can tell, it's had a few changes since the last time I reviewed it. It's now got a lovely semi-auto function, which I'm loving. Um, now, a few questions I wanted to ask before I started releasing these is um, Riven Mods. Um, riven Mods are a new thing. Obviously, they make your guns insatiably powerful or insatiably terrible. And uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in between half the time. Now, I actually own quite a few Riven Mods. One in particular for this gun that I'm using now. Would you like me to include Riven Mods in my builds as a as a typical selection, like sh almost like a showcase, because I understand that not everybody is going to have these ribbons. Or would you like me to show a build with my ribbon and then show a build for people who don't have access to them yet? Because the builds I've got here, I've got about 40 ribbon mods since I started. Um, they're, they're very, very unique. Not everybody will get them. And most of my setups will then be completely unique. So I don't know how you feel about me putting ribbons in them, in which case it would be more of a showcase than a build guide, but I can do a mix of both if you would like. Anyway, the second thing, I know I haven't put a video up since my comeback, and that is because I found there's so much stuff I've missed out on in this game. New weapons, new warframes, new mechanics, ribbons, quests, like my god, there's actually so much I haven't done, there's so much I've never done before. So um. Yeah, I, I really needed to get back into the swing of things, and as you can see, my uh, my aim is getting a lot better. I've also bought a new mouse and a new keyboard, so my aim feels a lot nicer. I find uh, my mouse is a lot smoother to use. It's not filled with crud and rubbish like my old one. I've also a new keyboard, new mouse. Um, they're by Corsair, so I know they're, they're a pretty good trusted make. I haven't quite got a razor like some of you guys have, but you know what I mean. So that's what I want to ask with my build guides. Do you want to see ribbons in them? Do you not? Do you think it's you know, unethical, immoral, whatever? I, I don't know. That's why I'm leaving it up to you. Um, Lestat1985, the person who you guys thought was uh, gone, and I thought was gone from the game. I, mean, I still speak to him. No, in fact, he's, uh, he's doing very well for himself at the moment, and um, he does still play. Well, he now plays now. <laughs> I kind of convinced him to come back. In fact, in a, in, well, I can't even speak today. As a matter of fact, he kind of convinced himself after seeing my comeback video. <laughs> and um, he's, he's doing well. So he may make an appearance in one or two of my streams or videos, you know. We, we are going to try and uh, reignite the impossible. We're going to try and um, do some really, really long runs with these new Riven mods. Because I decided I'd be a good guy and pick him up a couple of mods um, for his favourite guns. The Stug and the Amperex. I mean, I can't use the Amperex, but he loves the thing. So uh, I picked him up a few mods for that. If anybody has Riven mods for my favourite weapons, most of you should know what they are. The Brayton in particular. The Heinz, the Lato, um, the Lex. If any of, the, if any of you have it, that would be fantastic. Um... The Tiberon is also one of my favourites, if anybody has one I can buy. I mean, I'm not going to ask you to give them to me for free, but I am looking for some pretty high quality mods. Um, I've spent a lot on my Platinum, so I don't have a lot now, but I've got a lot of mods which I'm really happy with. And uh, they will make an appearance in both my streams and videos. So that's all the update is, just to let you know I am still here, I am still making videos. But uh, I'm just re-swinging re into the game, because there's a lot to relearn. So uh, that's all I need to say, and uh, I've just about kept it under five minutes, which is brilliant. So yeah, 
let me know guys i want to know what you want to see reviewed uh what order potentially um the hind as i say is the first that is i don't want to say non-negotiable because it sounds like um, some kind of office boss but you know uh, the hind will be first um followed by whichever guns either you guys want or whichever guns come out first um bear in mind there are still a few guns i haven't actually bought but um i'm thinking of doing the uh the Stradivar second because I do like the Stradivar a lot so those are what's on the agenda so let me get to extraction and we will wrap this up so um, I thought I'd release these weekly updates just so you guys know I'm not dead because <laughs> I find as soon as I don't release a video for a week people start asking me if I'm dead um, no I just don't have as much time to play as I do before uh, I'm putting in a lot of hours and I'm doing a lot of freelance work I actually own my own website to run that freelance work so uh, I'll put a link to that in the description in case any of you want to read what I write and in case any of you want to hire me for yourselves which would be fantastic to work with you I certainly won't turn down a challenge but here we go we are at extraction this is where I'll wrap up this update so hopefully I'll see you guys soon and uh, see you in the next video thanks guys and I'll see you later